Provo V0, okay? So if you have taken it, Provo V0 language course, okay? If you have taken it, okay, just take a short nap, okay? If you didn't, then try hard to follow me because I will go a little bit fast. So no matter what is the language you're using, no matter you're using Node.js in supporting RESTful API or some simple PHP program that is uh, doing a blocking, something like that, they are all working on HTTP protocol, okay? Don't mention HTTP 2.0, okay? Yeah, 2.0 is another thing, really, really crazy stuff, okay? And this protocol, okay, is our, our blood of the open source, uh, also uh, others, others communication medium. Now you have to understand their request and response header as well as their body because later on I will ask you, not ask you, but uh, require you, okay, to write programs in order to control them, okay? So first of all, the header for the request, okay? If you find that this is boring, okay, you can do your own experiment the own experiment is not launching some difficult stuff. Let me find my homepage, okay? Yeah, launching the developer tools. Let me zoom in. Go to the network tab, okay, and reload. Okay, then you will see I download so many things. Okay, download so many things. Let's pick something, okay? Uh, the, the thing called CHK white small GIF, okay? Then you will be able to see the request header, response header, okay? So the, the preview is this figure, okay? The response is nothing. So this header is actually, uh, oh, sorry. This header is talking about this bunch of things, okay? Some of it is not interesting in our course, okay? In our course, we are looking at the method, okay? There are several methods that this week and also next week we'll talk about is the get and post, get and post. And later on, we will talk about put and delete, okay? I, I don't spare it out, okay? Put and delete, okay? And this is very important in differentiate what you're going to do, okay? And the location means the path, okay? The file that you want to assess. Let's say I want to get an index.html, then here will be index.html. This is the version for the HTML protocol, and others are some different fields, okay? The request has its body. The body, this is the header, this is the body, the pain part is the body. Later on, I will show you an example that will have some body, okay? We have some body attached, I would say. So the response is like this. The response is having similar type here, but there is status code like the 200 OK, 404, yes, 404 file, okay, uh, what is that, 200, now, now it's a proposing it's 250, no, 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 500 and something, is it, I mean, uh, by law it's a, 451, 451, yeah, it's a, there's a new header proposing, I don't know whether it's one to please some government, okay, yeah, it's a forbidden by a certain law or uh, regulations, okay, there's a new type of header, status code, return by the server, okay, so there's a return by server, and usually when you send a response, you will have a body, let's say the response, the request is to ask for index.html, the index.html body will be here, okay, so this is the very basic stuff, Okay, some others uh, interesting header will be uh, the content length in the re request and the response, okay? Because request may upload something. When you upload something, you will have the link. When a response comes to your browser, okay, you will be downloading something, so the link is also important. And if it's carry something, okay, let's say upload a photo, download a photo, then you should specify what is the type of that file, okay? And this is the, the, the response, I want to skip it, okay? So the HTTP protocol itself has one problem. The problem is uh, already solved, okay? But the problem is about its statelessness, okay? Statelessness. How stupid it is? The stupid thing is you have a request-response pair, 
finish, okay, you send ask for something and give you a reply, and then you send another request, another response pair. It is totally independent of the first pair. Okay? The good thing is you can do parallel queuing, okay? You can send parallel requests as long as those requests won't put together or interleaving, okay, then the server can handle it. Okay? The bad thing is Let's say this is a contract, okay? A contract of service. I ask you for something and start from this request onwards, I want certain privilege, let's say. Then can you guarantee that privilege? No, by the protocol itself. The protocol don't know about say, I don't know, I don't know if the first pair is promising something. Okay, promising that I know you lock in, okay, your your TY wall locking in a Facebook. Okay, I don't know. Here as I don't know. Okay? So how can we establish the stage is the stage itself is not on the traffic itself, but on the server as well as on the client. I don't know what I what, what is the client? The client may be your phone, your app, your browser, the server, Node.js, Apache, Python, whatever the one thing you will write your program. Today I will go to a certain extreme. I will show you how to use C. Do it. Okay, you see to write a, a very simple application. Okay, so the application technology was very old. We call it CGI, Common Gateway Interface. Okay, I will go it go through it fast by showing example. Okay, so your example start off with this link. Okay, you click on this link and go to the zero one web application introduction. Then you will find some. Uh, let me reload it first of all. Uh, delete the hash here. Okay, so you will find this set of things. Okay, so you will find a set of C files. Yeah, this uh, this is my my way to teach you. Okay, understanding how to use it through C. So this is the Hello World. Let's take a look what is the Hello World. Uh, don't zoom in it. Let's understand what is Hello World. What is that? 2 print f statement, okay? The first print f statement is to tell the opposite side, hey, what is the thing that I want to push to your client? Okay, when you ask for my service. Then what should you do next? You print the content. So this is HTML. You say that, okay, this HTML, I write down HTML content. When you display it, you will see something like this, okay? So this allows you to bring in many variety. Let's say here, I change it into application slash zip, zip file. Okay. Then here you can print or write. Okay. It depends on what is the code you're using. Print the content of the zip file. Then at the other end, we know that you are pushing the zip file content, and it will open the dialog box after you to save the content. Okay. So this is the, the way. And in the natural notes, uh, I make it very explicit. Okay. The explicit example is uh, you do a Google search, I choose IE. Uh, yeah, it's IE, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so <laughs> upload and upload you ask for the storage for your help. Now the CGI is different. It's not asking for the storage, but asking for a program. Okay? So what is the program name for Google search engine? Do you know? Yeah? No one knows? Uh, let, let's pick this. Okay. In the hyperlink, you see that oh, HTTP, Google.com, .hk, and then some parameters. Okay. So let's take a look whether you will see my parameter Asia's. Asia's. So it's very hard to pronounce. Eh? Okay. Here. Okay, so you can see my browser upload my keyword there. My keyword is there, but about this URL, what is so special about this URL? Okay, so this URL, when you go back to the national, the diagram shows here is a red arrow. You are actually going to a special location, and the server, the server know that ah, ah you are calling for help, not reading set context. So I will do a Fork and execute. So the Apache server will fork itself, create a new 
new uh, server instance and execute the program that you compile. And it is a search engine program. Okay. So many many um, languages speak like that. Look at no. Okay, look at is not doing that. Uh, Python is doing that. Ruby, Ruby, no, Ruby is not doing that. Ruby is uh, accepting the connection by itself. Uh, what else? Uh, some of the older type language like uh, Perl, Perl is also doing that. Uh, whenever it is using S CGI concept, is to do a uh, for execute. PHP is not using P uh, it's not using CGI. It is a uh, become a library, a set of library insert inside the Apache server. So it's just become a, the, the part of code of the Apache. Okay, so it's not using a uh, for execute. Okay, so uh, if you're a CSD department guy, okay, I don't know for other departments, okay, so I can only give you how to set up such a CGI program for you to play with, okay. So in our department, and you create an account, okay, I just use a CSCI 450 account, and you create www directory and create CGI bin so that you can put every CGI program there if you want to play with it, okay. Then when you Put uh, executable there. Let's say you write a C program, compile it. You have to name it with extension CGI. Execute execution mode and this this seven more one. Okay. Then you can write a program and execute it using your your uh, personal account. Okay. If you are using others, you are using others. Then you have to look up some of the thing. Okay. So this is report. So you can uh, using others like uh, you host your own AWS server, okay, or you host your own uh, uh, machines in home, okay. You want to execute it, okay. You have to read some articles, okay, in order to turn on the options called execute CGI on the Apache configuration, okay. So this is just for just for you to understand how to make it works, okay? So the for the execute is not the end, okay? For an execute, how the CGI receive parameters from the browser, okay? The browser says something, so you will receive the thing through two ways: one, environment variable, okay? Two, standard in, standard input script. The Apache will open this to will let you to inherit all the environment from him as well as open an input stream for you. You can read from the input stream as well as read the environment variable. And in return, what we, sh what we should do is to return a partial HTTP request. Uh, sorry, response. Partial response as standard output. So that's why you see I use print app to print so that the Apache know that ah, you are starting responding. So I give the response and concatenate two things together. Okay, so what is the environment that you will receive? Let's take a look. It is inside this, uh, usually I will mention, sorry, I will mention which file I'm, I'm referring to. It's env.c. Yeah, this is the very interesting moment. Huh? Let's take a look. env.c. Let me close this and make it as big as possible. Okay, so these are all environment variable. Later on, we go back to take a look at the code. Okay, so let me find some of the interesting thing. Hmm, not interesting, not interesting. I maybe I search HTTP underscore, eh? HTTP underscore. Good. Okay, so it reveals something. It reveals what I'm using. Okay, we view that I'm using Chrome, what is the Chrome version, what is my operating system. Okay, so this is also the way that uh, Google Analytics and also Analytics software is doing. Uh, what is the language that I'm using? I'm using English. Uh, my IP address, where is it? Eh? My IP address is so, so funny. What is, the what is the network I'm using? Uh, yeah, hey, Chrome? Huh? So what is, oh, I see. Yeah, I'm a naughty guy. Let's take a look. 
wow, turbulent sewage gate. Yeah, I, I later on I will do some tracing, okay. Hmm. So uh, Apache, so the other side is Apache. So the environment variable showing a lot of stuff, okay, that you can process. Very, very interesting, huh? Uh, interesting in the sense that you can process so many things. Now, the environment variables will send you also the parameters that the browser sent you. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at this structure. Okay, this structure is first of all some server output that sends to you. So what is the server output that sends to you? Uh, I need to have a maybe this guy. Inspect network reload. Okay, so let's let's choose my CSS file. Okay, so you can see a bunch of a uh, request header. All the request header actually is not done by my if I'm running a CGI program. My CGI program took care of all this stuff. This stuff are generated by the web server. Okay, uh, the accept encoding, cache control, connection is none of a business. Okay, what is my business? My business is oh sorry my business is to send out the content type what is the type of execution oh, uh, content so you can see i use a uh, hello.c as an example that hello.c as an example where are you here okay so i print out the content type html and the content as a standard output here and then I close the program okay now I will try another thing what if I send out something I send out something using a wrong header so what is the meaning of using wrong header this is my, my program okay you know what is the outcome of this program right when you run it nothing happens Nothing prints. So for the Apache server, what Apache server will interpret my program? It will interpret my program as 500 server error. Okay? Maybe you have seen this some, somewhere else. Okay? Some people write bad software. Okay? They, I don't know, they resolve some, something badly and crash the handle part. Okay? And you will receive something like this. Okay? So that means that the Apache expecting that you must provide this guy at least okay and why there is a two new line character there this two line two new line character is coming from let me go back coming from here okay so uh, forget about the slash passage R passage R is just follow I follow the specification okay just forget about there is no passage R only passage N okay each header come with a value and then passage n and then passage n. Now I want to say that that is the end of all the headers. You will add an extra passage n to say that this is the end of the header part. Now here comes the content. Although this is a request, the response parts are the same. You have a header name, header value, give a new line character, then at the next line you want to end it. So you print one extra new line character to say that that is the end of the header part. So that's why in a in a code in a C code is doing two new line characters to say that yeah that's the end. Okay, I don't want any support. Okay, oh, I mean a support for a, for a header part. I want to go directly into the content part. Okay, so you can print it out like this. And that's why you can create many softwares already. Okay, you can uh, have a have a program. Okay, to generate I don't know what are the days, but uh, I I see some of the previous student they do one thing. Okay, in the old days we don't have Dropbox. Okay, our department account is as big as Dropbox, two gigabyte. Right? Is it still two gigabyte or five already? Okay, so they do one thing. They write a piece of software that export the entire public directory, okay, the web directory, okay, and allow you to download a particular file. Of course, they have some configuration file, 
okay? So they use this trait. They know that a particular file is of the type, let's say the index.html, that's in is an HTML. So they write in there, test that HTML so they can download. They put a zip file, and you know what is a zip file? A O D dot zip. Or, or some uh, CS dot zip. Yeah. Then they put it in the web directory, okay? Because by that time, our department is very, I mean, I shouldn't record it, okay? Very restrictive, okay? That we don't, we don't allow you guys to put a game, but nowadays, all people have USB drive, yeah. So there's another story. So they, they try to use a CGI program as a god, okay? So that department don't know what we're doing. And it's a successful story. Very successful. Yeah, I'm, I'm a, I am I'm benefit from it, okay? Ah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Don't think that I don't play games. Huh? Okay, so uh, then you can create some other applications like uh, the same, very simple <coughs> web counter. You launch a CGI program, you touch the URL, then you fire the request to the Apache. Apache know that, oh, you want to execute the CGI program. Then I do a fault execute. The fault execute is very simple. Doing the following. Ah, some people visited. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. B before I, I visit, it's only 80. So let me close this so that you can see the big picture. So my, my code is very simple. If you know C, there's a piece of cake. Huh? Just print the content type is a plain test, okay? Then open the file, okay? If I cannot open it, I say, oh my god. So uh, if I can open it, then I read it out as a four byte, four byte, and sign long, long, and then keep on updating it. Very simple. And then save the file. So this is not funny, huh? It's, it's kind of uh, easy stuff, okay? Now, what is more complicated is to parameterize the program. Okay, to parameterize the program, first of all, when you parameterize the program, you have several concerns, like who run the process, right? You add in parameter, let's say the parameter is to uh, run some command, okay? I, I try, I, I usually try to uh, illustrate you guys with an uh, RM, but I'm very dangerous to write it up. Let's say you want to RM something, okay? And the CGI program is to RM something in your directory. Okay. Then the security concern here is our department is doing some very good stuff. Okay. So this is a demonstration I didn't prepare. Let's do it. Okay, you can do it together. Ah, uh, not our M. Okay, <laughs> not our M. Well, you can do it together. Okay. Uh, first of all, you cannot log in as I. Okay. If you're a CSC department, guys, you can do it. CGI bin, okay. I create a test, test uh, directory. <coughs> of course, I have to change mode for every guy to go can go into my test directory. Okay, I'm there. So I create a very easy uh, CGI program. The CGI program you can follow it. Don't don't be afraid. Huh? There is is there an NO? Ah yeah, we I am. Okay, good. Okay, so we I am, yeah, let's call it index.cgi, okay? Ah, yeah, no, 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 sorry. Not index.cgi, okay? I write C, right? Index.c, okay? So what you are going to do is to ah, sorry, point F content type, oh, content type, test, HTML, oh, maybe plain test, plain test, double backslash, oh, you cannot see it, sorry. I, I don't know, it's where I am stuck, sir. I use pickle, yeah, then you can see it. Okay, then double backslash, and then not return zero yet, okay, I type it there. I want to do as system, okay. Who am I? Do you know what this command is? Yeah, we turn who you are. Okay, we know who you are. Okay, compile it. 
minus O, let's call it index dot CGI. Okay. <sighs> let's do it, huh? Uh, you have to use the AppSurf server to execute it. Bin test uh, CGI. No, no, not CGI. What is it? Index dot CGI. Ooh. 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 What happened? Let's try how it will. Yeah, I, I'm afraid that they, they blocked the system. Ah, I know. Shoot. Yeah, I, I'm stupid. Okay. I know. Who am I? Okay. Put it as well. I, I forgot to do a change mode. Okay. I. Okay. Go. What? What? Eh. Did I spell anything wrong? No? Hmm? What? Execution? Yeah, it should. I, I guess it's, it's blocked the system. Let's try it. Uh. Wait, what are? For no, I, I close the screen, okay? I don't need you to see my secret, okay? <laughs> um, should be okay, uh. I have some, I have some very horrible program there. No, 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 no. Mm. Wait a moment, ah. Uh. Wait a moment, wait a moment. Huh? You can? What happened? Should be okay or? Uh, okay. I have a, I have an old program here. I found an old program in this directory. Okay. And I can execute it. Okay. I can execute it. Now I change it into this version. Okay. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. Sorry. Sorry. My fault. I have to go to Unix. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> uh, Unix sucks. Okay. Because my uh, our default is just in Linux. Okay. Again. Again. Index dot CGI index dot C. Okay. Again. Test. Go. Ah, no problem. Nah. So let's edit it. I, what happened? Edit it into well, what happened here? System. Who am I? Because the compile binary must be a Linux executable format. Okay? So when I execute it here, it's TY1. Okay? Internal shape. So that means that it's blocked. Okay? It's blocked. I cannot I cannot show you. Okay? But don't underestimate me. I wanna do fork and execute. Okay. But then you need to pipe it back. Yeah, we have to use pipe. No problem. I just pee open. Uh, will, will you consider just write a Yeah, maybe maybe. How can I? Do you have any idea if it's been been blocked? The system is blocked. Will you consider using a Oh, right, right. He is right. He is right. I'm stupid. Okay. Yeah, his suggestion is like this. Mm. His suggestion is <laughs> echo, echo content type, uh, test plane. Okay, so verify for for a moment. Okay, verify that. Uh, control O. Change mode. Change mode. Ah, yeah, change mode. 
inflow. Four plus X in that stock CGI. Okay. Yeah, must be missing something. Change mode. Okay, no, it's it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, department is spotting everything. Uh oh, it's spotting everything. Is this? Is it because it's like this? Let me try, huh? Yeah, it's blocking everything. Yeah, the you problem is blocking. Really can, you can run it on the server. Yeah, that's why I use that's why I use OpenShift over it. OpenShift never block anything. Okay, the problem is blocking everything. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about is uh, about the execution mode. Okay. Our department is so restrictive. Why? Because it's executing your CGI program using this module. This module is called, yeah, s 2 exe okay? So what is this module? This module is whenever you attach to the Apache and that server program, CGI program, is under your, your name, okay, your directory, okay? Then it will execute on your behalf using your privilege. So understand what is the meaning? It's under your directory. It doesn't mean that I I create a file. I I don't know why I make my file under <coughs> the directory and that file using my name to execute. No, it's under that directory. The directory is yours. Then using your privilege to execute. So what is the soul? The soul part is here. This file. This so-called web counter.txt. Can you open it, read and write and then close it? It's all happened when I got the correct execution mode. Okay? If I'm using OpenShift, I can uh, override and change it into uh, this mode. <laughs> yeah. Triple seven. Okay? But in our department, you you can see so many restrictions. Okay, I try this, it's banded, try that, it's banded. Okay, so actually we can I can only demonstrate everything on an open shift. Okay, it's just because of this uh, permission thing. Okay, and usually the Apache is not running as root as long as you are enabling the SQLBXCC module. So this this module and it's CSC only. If it's a normal Apache server, okay, normal Apache server. Okay, well, I, I, I nearly opened some, some score sheets, something like that, okay. Uh, let you see this, okay. I have a, hey, what happened? Okay, I have Apache server running on my, on my local Mac machines, okay. On my local Mac machines. So can you find this out? PSAUX pipe grab. Apache. Find out is there any Apache? No, sorry. HTTP. Okay. So this is the Apache process. Okay. So do you know what is the first column? Let me pick it. 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 Okay. Again. Hey. Wow. This is so ugly, yeah. Huh? Ah, I, I have a way. Okay. We direct to out of TXT. Then you can see it. Oh, Okay, yeah, you can see it, okay? So, what is the first column? What is the first column? The first column is usually the username of the process, okay? This is the execute by DIY wall, this is execute by root. Now, other uh, HTTP server, which is un underscore free W. In Mac, it's used underscore free W to execute. Uh, some all the system, they will use a username, very interesting username called nobody. Okay, it's nobody execute. And in latest Ubuntu, I remember Ubuntu is using www underscore data. Okay, so it is uh, depends on which server, but that server imply one thing. You cannot execute anything allows you to open a file that belongs to you. As, unless you are using free this triple seven. Okay, so then later on we will try to process the get and the post method. 
The get and post method is very easy to understand. How easy? Uh, you can take a look ahead. I have uh, this kind of challenges. Ask you to do some encoding string, okay? And after that, we will try to implement everything without using C. C sucks in terms of string processing, okay? Yeah, really. So we will change another language. And before we change to another language that is Python, we will launch the Docker training, okay? So the Docker training means that I will ask you to bring your laptop here. I guess will be based on my, my progress should be the next Tuesday, okay? Next Monday, we, we won't push that, okay? Next Tuesday, you will bring your laptop, we'll play Docker together, okay? So if you are willing to join this, uh,